Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Scorpio in this reading will be focusing on your new person or current connection. So please take it how it resonates. And if you don't have your special person, Scorpio, please take this reading as a prediction. Let's see. Could you please show me what Scorpio needs to know? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Knight of Swords. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Three of Pentacles, the Death card, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. You might be dealing with another Scorpio. Scorpio, Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Death card, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Number 77 might be quite important. Number uh, 77 might be of significance. Uh, I'm getting this person. Gossip. Gossip here, it's involved Knight of Swords and Seven of Swords. There are other people gossiping about this person. Or there are other people gossiping about you to this person. So please take it how it resonates. But Seven of Swords with the Knight of Swords, that's gossip. Three of Pentacles, more than two people involved in that situation. They are talking about this. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. You have people who are very interested here in, the, in this connection, Scorpio with this person it's like they are invested in your story they need to stop doing this seven of pentacles again It feels like there are other people involved in this. Yeah, you see, page of swords, more gossip, or people talking about this connection. Ten of cups, nine of swords, ten of cups, and the emperor. Overall energy for this part of the reading: the high priestess, a four of wands, and eight of swords. This is about someone's relationship. This reading, it feels like with their partner. Um, I feel this is a quite complex situation, Scorpio, because um, irrespective if it's a new person or if it's established relationship, I feel that people are very, very curious. And it's like, I'm getting someone pretending to be very helpful, but they pretend. They want to gain information. You might be dealing with Divine Masculine or you are Divine Masculine, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups and the Emperor. For some of you, if it's a stable relationship, at the moment you might feel like it's not great. This, this, All the people are giving you headache. Yeah. For some of you, many people, it's like some pe there is someone who might be telling you something and you don't know what to think about this connection, about this person. We have High Priestess, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah, there is something here about not... I feel that you don't want to talk about this connection and you don't want to other people to talk about this. I mean, obviously, right? High Priestess is a sign, kind of, you know, energy of um, knowing something but not addressing something, keeping it to yourself. Um, and it's a relationship, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this. Refusing to address something.
I feel that you just want to peace and quiet. Because with the high priestess, four of wands and eight of swords, you might feel be you might feel that there is a blockage regarding disconnection. In a sense, you don't see progress regarding disconnection because other people's involvement. And it's like you want to see progress, you want happiness, you want, you know, long term relationship with this person, but at the moment it's not possible it's not possible because others again got involved or they are telling you something or they are telling this person or maybe both of you you know it's very interesting because most of the time i see this person's uh, kind of energy when i do those readings but here i see other people's energy so for me it is a sign that it's really overwhelming and a lot of people have a lot to say and i don't feel that it's their place to have an opinion in a sense of kind of you know being not nosy or something like this that's what i've meant of course everybody's entitled to have their opinion but in a sense of you know creating drama and creating gossip You might be dealing with Pisces, we have Aries, we also have a Cancerian energy. Let's see, could you please show me this person's feelings towards Scorpio? Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. seven of wands this person is very determined to protect this connection they care a lot about you scorpio six of swords page of pentacles ace of swords it feels here scorpio that this person really wants to have a conversation with you uh, it's like they want to clarify something ace of swords it's an energy of truth page of pentacles six of swords in order to once and for all kind of you know uh, walked away from that energy here projected by those people this person is very determined six of wands to have a successful relationship with you ten of pentacles and they want to protect this they care a lot about you scorpio they want to be with you and i feel that this is someone who it's uh, getting closer and closer to the decision of addressing certain things with other people and to just i feel this is someone who wants those people to stop to walk away from this connection to stop talking because what i am getting that this person feels that those whispers you know these people they don't have much to offer they are just creating chaos and it's enough Mm, they care a lot about you, Scorpio. Could you please show me how this person, Queen of Pentacles, how this person sees this whole situation? Yeah, they know that you have a lot to offer. Ten of Wands. How this person sees this whole situation, please? This person's perspective, the Magician, Seven of Cups and the Star. You might be dealing with Aquarius. Cross watches the roles can be reversed. Virgo, Gemini, more Scorpio. Judgment, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups. What is this card? Strength. Okay. Strength. You might be dealing with Leo. Yeah. I'm seeing this person just saying stop. Those people need to stop talking. They they just need to just stop. I'm getting someone saying have something else to do to these people or about this situation. You have someone, Scorpio, who cares a lot about this connection. They don't want to give up on this and they are quite protective 
overview and this connection. So if you've been wondering if this connection is safe, it feels like it is, okay? We have Ten of Wands, how this person sees the situation. It's, it's, it's difficult. Ten of Wands, it's exhausting, it's tiring. For some of you, it might be, for instance, like a family member or relative, you know, please take it how it resonates. I'm just seeing more people having a say regarding this connection or being involved in it. Ten of Wands, it's difficult, it's tiring, it's exhausting in this whole situation. I mean, them gossiping or talking or getting involved, it's becoming a burden for this person. They want to release it. The Magician, Seven of Cups and the Star. This is someone who wants to bring clarity to the situation because Seven of Cups, it's an energy of illusion. We cannot see clearly. And this person feels that because many things has been said and none of them probably are true, okay? They want to clarify things. The magician, mm -hmm, they will try very, very hard uh, to, to bring clarity to the situation, the start to heal it and to bring more hope. Yeah. This person cares a lot about you. A lot, a lot, a lot. Judgment, four of swords, nine of cups. For some of you, I'm getting this person announcing that they are taking a step back and they don't want to have anything to do with, with, with a, a certain, um, certain people. Or it's like they, they are taking a step back. They are distancing themselves. And it's like this person is going to make an announcement. They will kind of vocalize it. I feel this is about established connection, but please take it how it resonates. doesn't have to be. But this person will take initiative. Yeah, it's like I feel that there will be a conversation also that will take place between the two of you. And it's like you will agree uh, that maybe it's best to just, you know, take a step back, to not listen, to not get in, involved. Or it's like, you know, to not meet up with these people. Because at the end of the day, both of you just want to be happy. Nine of Cups. That's what they want, this person. Mm hmm Let's see your perspective, Scorpio. Could you please show me Scorpio's perspective? We have the full card. Could you please show me Scorpio's perspective, please? Regarding this whole situation, Eight of Wands. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Four of Cups. Nine of Cups and the Devil card. It's difficult. That's the thing. And for you as well. Four of Cups suggests here that something is not working for you. And you might you might feel like this is this is your dream come true, this person, they are everything what you wished for. But this happiness and that feeling of fulfillment is very much clouded by that toxic energy projected by other people. And that's why things are not working for you. You might be dealing with Capricorn. We have also Aries, Aquarius, the full card with the Eight of Wands and Eight of Swords. I feel that you want this person to take full initiative. There is something here about the truth that has to be expressed. Uh, Eight of Wands, it's, it's, it's a card of communication. So I see you... Um, I feel that you care a lot about this person. You want to have a new beginning with them. And uh, I'm getting a lot happening. There will be a lot happening. Uh, exchange of messages back and forward. Texting, chatting, expressing your truth. Yeah. Really being engaged in that conversation. That's what I am getting. Let's see. Could you please show me the outcome? The sun.
Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Overall energy for this reading, we have Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords and Five of Swords. Yeah, you have people who are not, uh, who are not cheering, you know, on this connection, if I can say it that way. Someone here is playing mind games and they want to create that energy. Emotional dissatisfaction and disappointment. What I am getting here, Scorpio, and I feel that, you know, if you resonate with this, with this reading, that's your message. I feel that you are aware what's going on and it's like a confirmation for you, but you have someone here who's playing mind games, who's jealous and... Um, who's very manipulative and they want, they don't want both of you to be in a relationship. That's what I'm getting. They won't be, they won't, uh, it won't, ha they won't be successful. I can tell you that. But this is someone who is jealous that that offer of love was made to you, not to them. And I will leave it here. Okay. I'm also getting here very strongly that this person will get caught and they will try to apologize. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the sun, nine of pentacles, two of swords. Uh, what I can see here, Scorpio, is that in the near future, certain things will come to light with the sun. A nine of pentacles you will feel very good about this and with the two of swords i feel that you will just kind of you will take a step back you will distance yourself from certain people you know and that's it i'm seeing you protecting your heart protecting also this connection the thing here is scorpio that this person really cares about you and i'm not seeing at all ending of this connection no not at all i'm seeing them actually taking initiative trying to bring more clarity and kind of in, in, in a very, very um, clear way expressing themselves to others who've created drama, who might be gossiping, gossip, gossiping behind your back. Mm -hmm. You'll be very successful and you have nothing to worry about, Scorpio, because this person has your back and they really care about you and this connection. They are very protective over this connection because this person loves you. In, in the near future, things will come to light you will feel very good about this. Um, I'm seeing you also practicing more self-love, self-care. And I'm, I'm getting here that you will, I feel that you will make a decision to, to protect your heart and distance yourself from certain people that project uh, a toxic energy, essentially, because I don't see you being interested in this at all. So you have nothing to worry about, Scorpio, because at the end of the day, you'll be victorious. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.